in the last lecture we learned about content child decorator and what is its use now in this lecture we are going to learn about content children decorator and how it is different from content child decorator so the content children decorator is used to access a reference of all the dom elements components or directives from the projected content in the child component class based on a given selector let's try to understand this with an example so here we are in the view template of child component in this view template we are using this ng content element so this ng content element will be replaced by the projected content when this angular application will run so here for the projected content from the parent component we are passing this s3 element this paragraph element and this test component so this content here it will replace this ng content in the child component now in the child component class we have a property called paragraph element and inside this paragraph element we are storing a reference to this paragraph element and to do that what we are doing is we have decorated this paragraph element property with this content child decorator and there we are passing this para as a selector so this para is nothing but a template reference variable and currently in the projected content we have only one element with that selector now what will happen if we have multiple elements with the same selector for example let me go ahead and let me create two more paragraph elements here okay and now let's go ahead and let's use the same template reference variable on other two paragraph elements as well so now when we are using this content child decorator on this paragraph el property and when we are passing this para as the selector this content child decorator it will return the first matching element with this selector from the projected content now in the projected content we have three paragraph elements with the same selector so the content child will return the first matching element in this case this paragraph element will be the first matching element so a reference of this paragraph element will be returned and that will be assigned to this paragraph el property and let's actually see that so here we are logging that property if you go to the web page you see now three paragraphs are being displayed here okay and let's go ahead and let's open the developer console let's clear everything here and when i click on this learn more button it should log the value stored in paragraph el property so when i click on this button you see it has logged element ref actually let's go ahead and let's log paragraph el dot native element so this native element is basically going to store the element for which this paragraph element is storing a reference so now if we go back to the web page let's clear the console again and again when i click on this learn more button you will notice that the first paragraph element here has been logged and you can also see highlighted in the ui when i'm hovering over this paragraph in the console now if i go ahead and if i move this paragraph element before this paragraph element now since this paragraph element is the first occurrence with this selector now a reference of this paragraph element will be assigned to this paragraph el property so again if we go to the web page and when i click on this learn more button you will notice that now that paragraph is being logged here in the console and you can also see it highlighted in the ui so keep in mind that this content child will always return a single reference based on a given selector but what if we want to get the reference of all the matching elements in that case instead of using content child we can use content children so what we will do is we'll go ahead and we will create a property let's call it para elements and in this para elements property we want to store a reference of all these three paragraph elements for that first of all we are going to decorate this property with at content children decorator and in order to use this content children decorator we also need to import it from angular slash co and here we are not using this view child so i will remove it from here and here also we need to pass a selector and for the selector again i am going to pass this template reference variable so with this selector 
in the projected content, we have three elements. So now a reference of all these three elements will be assigned to this para elements. So basically this para elements is going to return a list. And in that list, we will have a reference of all these three paragraph elements. So the return type here for this para elements property will be query list. And in order to use this query list, we also need to import it from angular slash co. And here it is going to be a query list of element ref because these paragraph elements, these are basically HTML elements. So we are going to store a reference of these HTML elements. So here this property is going to be a list of element refs. Okay. Now what we can do is since this para elements is basically a list, we can loop over this list. So here we can say, this dot para elements dot and in order to loop over this list we are going to use for each loop to this for each loop we need to pass a callback function and this callback function will get executed for each element in this para elements list and for each iteration it is going to receive the current element so i will simply call it as el and what we will do is we will simply go ahead and we will log that el now this el it is going to store a value of type element ref and that element ref will have a native element property so let's basically log that native element with this if we save the changes let me also go ahead and let me comment these two console.log statements okay and we only want to log the elements which we are storing inside this para elements list so let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me click the console here and when I click on this button, you will notice that three paragraph elements have been logged here. This is the first paragraph element. This is the second paragraph element and this is the third paragraph element. So this content children returns all the matching elements from the projected content with a given selector. And that's what we learned in the definition. The content children decorator is used to access a reference of all the DOM elements components or directives from the projected content in the child component class based on a given selector. So I hope this definition is clear now. Now, just like content child, we can also use content children decorator on the components. So what I will do is I'll again go back to parent component class and in there currently we are using this test component once. So using this selector an instance of test component will be created. But if I go ahead and if I use it two more times. In that case, three instances of test component will be created. Now in this test component, let's do one more thing. So let's go to this test component class. And in there, let's make this name property as input property. And in order to use this input decorator, we also need to import it from angular slash go. Okay, so now this name property is an input property. So what we can do is we can bind this name property in the parent component. So let's go to parent component here. And here we are using that component selector. So here we are going to bind the name property. And to this name property for the first instance, I will assign a string value, a name. And for the name, let's say Mary Jane. Let's do the same thing for second instance. There, let's change the name to maybe mark what and let's also use it on the third instance and there let's change the name to john smith and in the component class initially let's set it with empty string with this let's save the changes and let's also save this parent component.html and now what we want is we also want to get access of all the test components from the projected content. Currently, we have three test components which we are using in the projected component. Let's actually make it four. And here, let's change the name to Sarah Williams. Okay, so we want to get a reference of all these test components in our child component class. And since these test components are basically projected content, we can 
access their reference using content children. So again, I'll go ahead and I'll create a property. I'll call it test elements and I'm going to decorate it with at content children decorator. There, I will pass the selector as the component name. So here the component name is test component. Okay, so I'm going to use the component name as the selector. And here, since this content children is going to return a list, we are going to specify the type of this test elements as query list. Now, which type of list this query list is going to contain? It is going to contain a list of values of type test component. So let's specify that type here. And now let me comment this line. And what we want is we want to loop over this test elements list. So again, just like how we looped over para elements list in the same way, we will say this dot test elements dot for each. Again, we are going to pass a callback function here. And this callback function will receive the current element for each iteration. I'll call it simply EL. You can name it anything. And what do we want to log here? First, let's simply log EL. Okay. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let me clear the console and let's click on this learn more button. Before that, you will notice that the test component has been displayed here four times. And each time it is displaying the value of the name property. Okay, so now when I click on this learn more button, you will notice that four instances of test component has been logged here. So this first instance of test component, the view template for this first instance of test component is this. The view template for second instance of test component is this. In the same way, the view component for last test component is this. And in there, you will also see the name property. So the name value which you are seeing here that is being displayed for each of those instances. So in this way, using the content children decorator, we can access a reference of all the DOM elements, components or directives from the projected content. Using content child decorator, we can only access the first occurrence of a DOM element with a given selector. But content children, it returns all the occurrences from the projected content with a given selector. I hope the use of this content children is clear to you and also what is the difference between content children and content child decorator. Now, before we wrap up this lecture, let's talk about the difference between content child and view child and also content children and view children one more time. So using view child or view children decorator, we pass data from a component's view template to its component class. So here, let's say we have this demo component HTML. So this is the view template for demo component. And here we have the demo component class. Now in the component class, let's say we want to access a reference of this paragraph element. For that, in the demo component class, we are creating this para el property and we are decorating it with view child decorator. And there we are passing a selector. And the selector in this case is the template reference variable which we have used on this paragraph element. So in this way, this view child will go through all the elements in the parent component and it will look for that element which matches the selector and it will return the reference of first matching element. If we are using view children, then it will return a reference of all the matching elements and it will be stored in the property. So basically using the view child, we pass a reference from the view template of a component to its component class. But in case of content child, using the content child decorator, we access a reference of a DOM element or a component or a directive from the projected content. In this example, here we have our parent component view template and here we have the child component class. Now from the parent component view template, we are projecting some content for this child component class. So this content which we are writing within the opening and closing component selector, it will be projected in the child component. So from the projected content, if you want to get a reference of a DOM element or a component or a directive in the child component class, for that we can use content child or content children decorator. So in this example, let's say 
from this projected content we want to get a reference of this paragraph element in the child component class so what we have done here is in the child component class we have created a property we have decorated it with content child decorator and there we are passing a selector and based on that selector from the projected content this content child is going to filter the first occurrence of the element which matches this selector and it is going to assign its reference to this para el property if we are using content children in that case from the projected content it is going to look for all the elements which matches this selector and it will assign a reference of all those elements to the property on which we have used it so this is the difference between content child and view child using content child we access a reference of a dom element a component or a directive from the projected content but using the view child we access a reference of a dom element or a component or a directive from the view template this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day